Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps. So now that we can create and list posts, let's try to tackle the editing and or update of posts. Okay, so editing of posts is not that much different from creating a post. So first what we need to do is let's create the view for the edit post. So inside the post folder, create an edit.blade.php and copy everything inside the create um, view here and paste it inside edit everything stays the same except um, this part here and this text so we're gonna say edit post and instead of saying form open we're going to do form model we're binding um, our form to a model which will be passed on from the controller and the name of the model is a post that variable that is and then we're going to submit the form to the post dot update um, route and we're going to pass in a parameter um, which is the ID so instead of a string here the route property should have a value of array and the first value should be the um, route name and the second should be the parameter which you want to pass so we're going to pass the ID of the post and the method should not be um, post or it should not be left to the default it should be put so we're going to change the method to put okay so string put here all right, so that's it. So now let's handle what we write in the controller. So let's go in the controller in the edit um, method here. Let's return that view. That is the edit view. So we're going to say return view, and we're going to return which view? Post dot edit, and we have to pass in um, the current post which we want to edit. So when we visit this route, we're going to be passed an ID for the post. So let's query the database for that post first. So post equals to post colon colon find and then we pass an ID that should return us that um, current post and then let's do compact and we do post so just a quick note here what compact does is that if you do compact something post for example it just creates um, this for you in the background it creates an array and sets the um, property of the whatever string you pass in and then scans in this current scope um, any variables with the same name and just sets it as a value so in this case we're going to have this so that's all the compacts create if you change this name here to post 2 this will not work because when it tries to find post in the scope it's not going to find anything so just make sure um, you're aware of that okay so we'll delete all of this so now let's go to our browser currently we have um, three posts and we know that they have the ID 1 2 and 3 if we look at the database we should see it there I refresh that ID one two three. So let's try to edit the second post. Um, we go to post slash two slash edit. Okay. So as you can see, it has automatically populated the edit form fi uh, fields with the values for that post. Okay. So now when we submit, um, it should submit to this action here, which is the update action. And since we haven't handled anything in there, let's do that right now. So first we're going to collect the data. I'm going to say data equals to request. And request has all the data from the form. So we're going to say only. Remember, only select what you need. Never do all. So we're going to select the title and the body. And then we're going to um, query the database for that post so that we can update it. So we say post equals to post colon colon find and then ID. So next what we have to do is just call the update method on the post and then pass in the values which we want to update it with so in this case data which is what is coming from the form and then finally we just return to that route so we say backslash redirect route and which route do we want to redirect to is the same edit route we pass in the current um, post id as well so um redirect route post dot edit and then we say id okay so now let's go back to our form here let's change this to 22 and then we submit uh, it says class redirect not found um let's see what the problem is okay it should be capital r not small r so we'll go back and we'll submit that again as you can see we've been redirected to this form um, again when I say post 22 and I submit, we've been redirected back here. 
So just to show that that has had effect, we can do it in two ways. We can go to the database, and this is the one we've been editing. When I refresh, the updated um, value should be reflected. And when I refresh, as you can see, they are being shown. Same happens for when we go to the list page for all the posts. As you can see, post 22. Okay, so finally what we need to do is we need an easy way to have access to the edit page for each of these individual posts. So let's add an extra um, column here so that we have a button next to each post so that we can edit them easily. So back to our editor here, let's go to the index um, view and in here we're going to create a link to that post. But before we do that, let's create an empty header so um, it corresponds to that new uh, TD here as well. So we do uh, and and be non-breaking space, and um, we move this away from here, down here, and there is a helper in the um, Laravel HTML which is just linked to route. So we're linking to the current route, which um, corresponds to this post, and the route is post dot edit, and we want it. Um, the link to have a value of edit so that <coughs> sorry about that guys so that's the text that's going to be shown in the link and the third one is any parameters which we want to pass to that route in this case it expects an um, ID um, number so we're just going to say post and then ID okay so let's go back to our page here and we refresh and as you can see we have an edit link here so when we click on each of those it should take us to the edit page for the corresponding post so edit here when i edit this 33 submit we are redirected back to this um, page here we go to list all the posts um as you can see it is not reflected all right so let's see what went wrong there so post 33 um submit um something seems to go wrong let's refresh go to the database and refresh that oh okay since we are not listing the body um, that will not be shown so let's go to the edit and we edit the title so submit we go to the post page as you can see the title has been changed okay so that's it guys um, for this tutorial video so in this video we had a look at how we can edit individual posts in our laravel um, post tutorial so i thank you for watching i will see you soon in the next video where we're going to handle how to delete posts all right I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.